Now we will learn how we can implement a boolean function by a multiplexer. A boolean function of n plus 1 variables is implemented by a 2 raised to power n to 1 multiplexer. That is a multiplexer which has 2 raised to power n input lines and n selection lines. So n of these variables are connected to selection lines right and the remaining single variable v of the function is used for the inputs of the multiplexer the inputs of the multiplexer can be v v naught one or zero now suppose there is a boolean function of n variables a b c d and so on now a b c d this is a order sequence of variables in min terms now here a is the leftmost variable and b c d and so on are the remaining n minus 1 variables which are connected to the selection lines b will be connected to the higher order selection line c will be connected to the next lower selection lines and so on up to the last variable which would be connected to the lowest order selection lines it would be more clear when we will implement this boolean function by a multiplexer now this boolean function f is of three binary variables a b and c so it would be implemented by a four to one multiplexer that is a multiplexer which has four input lines and two selection lines first of all we will make a implementation table for this multiplexer now here look at this function what it signifies this function is a sum of min terms m2 m3 m5 and m6 and the order of variables in min terms is a b and c that is a appears first then appears b and c appears last in the min terms of the point which are included in the functions F. Now the A is the leftmost variable, right? And B and C are the remaining two variables. So these remaining variables B and C will be connected to the selection lines of the multiplexer which will implement this boolean function now we have to find out the inputs of this multiplexer for this we will make a implementation table since uh, b and c are connected to the selection lines only a is remaining right so the inputs of uh, multiplexer which implements this boolean function can be 0 1 a and a naught right now we will make a uh, implementation table for the multiplexer which will implement this boolean function 
columns of this table are labeled by input variables i0, i1, i2 and i3. i0 is the input variable of first input line of multiplexer. i1 is the input variable of second input line of the multiplexer and this is the input variable of third input line of multiplexer and this is the input variable of fourth input line of the multiplexer. Rows are labeled by A0 and A. In this row we will write all min terms in which A appear in its complement form. We will write them in an order such that their subscripts are in increasing order like M0, M1, M2 and M3. Right. And in this row we will write all min terms in which A appear in its normal form in such a way that their subscript is in increasing order. Now see here this boolean function is sum of min terms m2, m3, m5 and m6. Now those min terms which are included in this boolean function right should be encircled right so these min terms m2 m3 m5 and m6 have been encircled right now what we have to do if the two main terms in a column are not circled apply 0 to the corresponding multiplexer input it means value of i0 is 0 because the two main terms in this column are not circled so 0 will be applied to the first input line of the multiplexer if two main terms are circled, then apply one to the corresponding multiplexer input. Here, both main terms are circled. So the value of i2 is 1. It means 1 is applied to the third input line of the multiplexer. If bottom main term is circled and the top is not circled apply a to the corresponding multiplexer input right in this column bottom main term is circled right so a will be the value of i1 right so A will be applied to the second input line of the multiplexer. If the top main term is circled and the bottom is not circled, apply A0 to the corresponding multiplexer input. So here value of I3 would be A0. So A0 will be applied to the fourth input line of the multiplexer B and C will be connected to the selection lines B will be connected to the higher order selection line and C would be connected to the next lower order selection line right? and F be the output 
of this multiplexer. So in this way, we can implement the Boolean function f by using this multiplexer. Now what we have done in this case, last and minus one variables are connected to selection lines. We can implement this Boolean function by a uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer by connecting first two variables to the selection line. In this case, we connected last two variables to the selection line, but we can implement it uh, the same function by multiplexer by connecting first two variables to the selection lines right now what we have to do in this case again we have to make an implementation table columns are again labeled by the input variables i0 i1 i2 and i3 and in this case, right, since A and B are connected to the selection lines, right, rows are labeled by C0 and C. Now in this row, we have written the min terms in which C appear in its complement form. They are written in such order that their subscript is in increasing order. And in this row, we have written min terms in which C appears in its normal form. And we have written them in such an order that their subscript is in increasing order. Now the min terms which are included in the Boolean function should be circled. So in this function, main term m2, m3, m5, and m6 are included. So these main terms m2, m3, m5, and m6 are circled. Now if both main terms are circled in a column, then one will be applied to the corresponding multiplexer input. If none of them is circled, zero will be applied to the corresponding multiplexer input. If bottom main term is circled and top is not, then C will be applied to the corresponding multiplexer input. If top min term is circled and bottom is not, then C0 will be applied to the corresponding multiplexer input. Right. So from this implementation table, we will get that 0 will be applied to the first input line, 1 will be applied to the second input line, C will be applied to the third input line and C0 will be applied to the fourth input line and here A and B will be the selection lines and F is the output right so in this way we have implemented this boolean function by this 4 cross 1 multiplexer Thank you very much.